You guys ready for some fishing? Yeah. yeah. This is Mike McKinstry from Bass Fox Hunter TV, and I'm here with two of my favorite guests to have on the show. I have my nephew Eli and Hello. Finn, and uh, we're gonna do some bluegill fishing today, and uh, hopefully get some really good panfish out of here. It's early in the season, so they should be pretty good, and it'll be a lot of fun. You guys ready? Yes. Okay. Hello. My name is Mike McKinstry. I travel the country with a fishing rod, a kayak, and a camera in search of adventure and one big mythical fish that we call the Bass Watch. We fish for any species we can, but we have a huge passion for bass fishing. Along our travels, we look for adventure, exploring, and new ways to catch fish and have as much fun as we possibly can. That's a good bass, man. Not only do we release our fish back to the water, but we also find new and exciting ways to give back to local communities and to pay it forward. So make sure you take care of the water you touch, the fish you catch, and the people you meet. And welcome to Basquatch Hunter TV. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by grabbing these number four hooks. These are the Berkeley Fusion number fours. And I'll put these on. And then we're gonna be using artificial baits today. It's a lot easier than digging up worms and going to the bait shop. Although, nothing wrong with going to the bait shop and getting live worms, but these gulp earthworms are incredible. They look lifelike, they have a great scent to them, and they will last you all day. So make sure you guys check these out too for artificials. So I'll get this on there. The reason why I like this Berkeley hook too is they're incredibly strong. They're not too thin, so they're not gonna bend. Even on these little bluegill here, you can bend out some hooks if they're not good quality. So you want a good quality hook. We'll open up these right here. You guys ever seen these? No. They look like real worms, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So check this out. Smell that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> smell that. <laughs> so it smells terrible, but it's supposed to. It's got a really good fish set on these. And what's cool about these is they're not real, so they're artificial, so they're not messy. You can break them, put it back in there. We'll grab Finn's hook first. Put it on just like a normal worm. So you think it smells bad. Imagine what the fish think. They smell that and it attracts them to it. There you go. Can I put it in the water? You can go ahead and put that in the water. Can I put mine on myself? Yes, you can. Here, I'll break it off for you. There you go. Thank you. Just be really careful. Make sure you don't poke your finger, okay? Try to know. Basquatch Hunter TV is brought to you by FX Custom Rods. Quality, precision, performance. Yak Gear. Feel Free Kayaks. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Three Waters Kayaks. Abu Garcia, fish to win. Railblazer, hold everything. Produced by M1 Studios. Thank you for watching. Ben just said that he thinks the fish are wearing masks because they're not biting. Not. And I think he might be right. No, I said that the fish fishes might be learning math. Oh, they're learning math. I thought you said they're wearing masks and that's why they're not biting, which kind of makes sense too. Yeah, yeah I have been... Okay, and then you said bees could do math. Now I understand the math part. Yeah, it, let's just, you didn't do anything wrong. Most people don't understand the language of little kids. And then, wait, oh. Are you holding the line? Then you open it. Okay. And then, oh, and then you, you do that. you go the... like that and let go. Okay. And then once it goes where you want it to, then you close this with your hand. And then you can reel it. Okay? okay. You want to try it? Sure. 
Okay, so you don't have a heavy bait on, so you have a light bait. I'll do it again, look. So you hold this, you open it. When you have a light bait, you gotta give it like a little flick. Okay? Okay, I'll try. Okay, go ahead and try it. Watch out for your brother. There you go. Perfect. That was a good cast. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. Now, do you remember how to hold them? So you put your hand flat and then slide down their fins. There you go. Is the hook in there far? Yeah. Okay, so this is why these pliers come in handy. There you go. Can I hold them? Yep. What? Nope, no you can't. <laughs> he was like, no. Hey, good job, dude. Awesome job. So when you get a big tangle in here like this, like this huge spot, you pull all this line out until that tangle comes out. Remember I told you about the line twisting? Yeah. So that's why you gotta make sure that you don't reel it in loose. So you pull it out until it's gone. So now it's, it's out there, right? Yeah, you close it, you hold it up like this so it's tight. So see how it's tight now? So you reel it until you get to the knot, and then when you get to the knot, you want to slowly pull it. If you pull it really tight, it'll make that a knot around it. So you want to pull it very soft until you get to the knot. And then you can keep on pulling it. Can I just knot? Oh, see how there's a big knot there now? So before you pull it too tight and make that knot really tight, you want to try to pull all those loops out. And then hopefully we did it right. There. And it pulls out completely. And then you keep tension on it when you pull it, when you reel it in. And there you go. Thank you. Now you're good to go. So one of the cool parts about dock fishing is obviously you have ground to stand on, it's stable, but it's also cool because you get to fan cast. So you get to cast in all these different directions from one point that you're retrieving back to. So when you do find fish, especially bluegill, they're usually in a school and you can usually target them pretty well. So I know dock fishing kind of gets overlooked um, and it's always better to be on the water, but there's still a lot of really good benefits of being on a dock and dock fishing. So the bobber fishing is really cool too. So I know bobbers seem really elementary, but at the same time, it gives something visual for the kids to look at, so it's a little bit more fun. And it's also a whole lot more exciting once you finally get a fish, because it's almost like a topwater bite for us bass fishermen, because you get to see the bobber go down, and then you know you have a fish. Thought I saw my bobber move. But it gives you something to look at, and it's a little more exciting. Um, and it also lets you cast a little further, too, so the kids can have more fun. So don't be afraid to tie on a bobber with the kids and give them something to look at. All right, so today I'm using the FX Custom Rod 6'6 Medium Fast Spinning Rod. And the reason why I like using this one so much for dock fishing is because I don't need to cast that far, but I really need something that's short enough to be maneuverable so I can get underneath these dock posts, I can cast between boats. I'm like right here, if I had a 7'6 or a 7'2, like a big rod, I won't be able to be fishing this close to the structure like this. When you're fishing from shore um, and, and in a situation like this, I'm not trying to get distance out of it. I need something that's sensitive, something that's got enough strength to pull anything around these dock posts. And I really wanna make sure I have maneuverability. So the six foot six medium fast is the perfect rod for the situation. Make sure you check out fxcustomrods.com and check out these rods. Yeah, got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Hold on. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. <laughs> it's so heavy. Stop. Now poke him. Do not slap me. Poke him. Poke him. There you go. Another good fish right there. All right, ready? Keep that line in the water. We'll be right back. Here, let's drop the bobbers in right here. Oh, there's a good one. Reel it up. Reel it up. Oh, it's already up. Here. It Here. Just Lift it up. There you go. Bait fell into the water. It's all right. We got more. <laughs> I got two when it was starting. Ah. 
Look, yeah. look how pretty that is. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Mikey. Yeah. Remember when we went ice fishing? That yeah. was a lot of fun. You know what? That was a lot of fun. This is the Action Waxy from Berkeley. This is an incredible bait right here. Got me an awesome fish. All right, let's get some more. So they are definitely loving this Action Waxy from Berkeley. Getting all species right here. So it's another great fish. I uh, wish we were cooking tonight, but we're not, so I'm gonna let this one go and hopefully get another one. Look at that one. Look at that one. He's in trouble. Oh, that's a really pretty one. Can I see it with Ah! Oh, that's my goodness. These Berkeley Gulp baits are amazing. It's the same bait I've used for three fish now. They love the scent of it. Look at that one. Look how pretty that is. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Purple. Yeah, see the purple on it? It's a really pretty fan fish. You guys having fun? Yeah. You having fun, Eli? Got the most fish. Who got the most fish so far? Him, then, then you. Him. You got two, you got two? I got, got three. three. All right. I got zero. You only, you're going after, come on! <laughs> come on, kid, get on. Hey, want to. You know, a, a, a nice size fish like this teaches you that experience matters as I drop it. All right. That's a good job, dude. Look at that one. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Good job, dude. There it is. That's a good fish. I got another one. Look at, it's a little one. Look at this little one. So you can see the pattern on this one right here. Just a gorgeous fish. There you go. There's some bass right there. They're like really small. They're really cool to catch one. Right there, Eli. Right there.
There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, there's look at a baby this. Bass. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Look at that. That's a future bass watch right there. Dude, that is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that pretty? It's a bass. We'll be right back it's with more outdoor adventure. It's a um, Uncle Mikey. Yeah. Remember when we went um kayak sledding? It was so fun. That was a lot of fun. Wasn't that funny, Eli? Yeah, it was great. Huh. We got the kayak set up. This is my first time trying kayak sledding. Here's the hill. Nothing too crazy, but never done it. So we're gonna film it just in case something happens. But let's go. This is Mike McKinstry from Bass Squad Hunter TV. And today I'm with two of my favorite special guests. I'm here with my nephews, Eli and Finn. Hi. And we're, we're gonna go kayak sledding today. We're gonna take some kayaks in the snow and see how fast we can go. You guys excited? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. Nope. So I brought the kayaks out today because it's snowing here in Michigan. We have ice on the lakes and I'm trying to find creative ways to still use kayaks because I have this weird addiction with using kayaks for everything. So we came out to a sledding hill today and I'm using the uh, Yak Gear Assassin paddle because it has really cool teeth on the outside for digging into the snow and the hook right here to grab onto a branch to pull us up to. So this is really key to help steer. So when you go down the hill, you dig the kayak paddle in to steer. Um, obviously, if you dig into the left, you go left. You dig into the right, you go right. But it helps you steer down these bumps, something like that. And it's kind of similar to hitting really big waves <laughs> in a kayak. And uh, that's why I brought my nephews along because I thought it'd be a lot of fun for them to experience kayaks, not on the water this time, but to experience them on the frozen water in the snow. So going down the hill has been a great time. You been having fun, buddy? Mm -hmm. You having fun? Yeah. So brought the kids out here and uh, bringing the kayaks on the snow is a great time. It's just like bringing them on the ice. So we're gonna go hit the sledding uh, or hit the hill some more and go sledding some more and have some more fun. We can go get one second. We gotta wait for uh, something to get out of the way down here. Go, Eli!
Yeah, you know what? That kayak sledding was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was close. Yeah. How pretty that one is. These Berkeley earthworms are amazing to catch really good panfish. All right, let them go. Do you know kids are more patient than adults? So the fish are really skittish right here. Every time we move the wrong way or if we tap the side of this pontoon right here, all the bluegill just get spooked and take off. So we're trying to give them the bite right here, but we gotta be super quiet and super still. And I think Finn's gonna get his first fish right here. Yeah. Good cast, buddy. <laughs> that was a good cast. Well, it's been an awesome time fishing with you, man. Thank you again for letting me take you fishing. It's always a great time. And You're welcome. Did you have fun today? Yeah, it was great. How many fish did you catch? Uh, so far about four. And you know you caught the biggest one, right? Yeah. Dude, mm -hmm. good but job, you dude. did catch a baby bass. I did catch the only bass, but hence the name Bass Squatch Hunter. I should be catching the bass, right? Yes, yes. So it works out. We'll, we'll start calling you the Panfish Hunter. I guess, maybe. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching the episode. Uh, we had a great time catching some fish and uh, reminiscing on some great memories we had in the wintertime, too. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys again soon. Yep. Bye. Give, making a dance? Giving, that, giving the worm dance? Okay. The worm is doing the cha-cha dance? <laughs> Let's fish like that. I think we're all going to start doing the cha-cha dance. Earthworms, also from getting out. Okay. Let me turn his off. Is this all the stuff you need for fishing? Yes. For like the uh, actual, actual, like, like, like master fishing? Like big fishing? No, like master fishing. You would think you had so much stuff you don't know how to catch fish. Dude, you listen as good as I do. Exactly. You don't listen, so I don't need to. You, you had a fish literally biting at your bait as you pulled it out. This, oh, I just lost it. That was a big fish. Okay, remember, what, remember what's gonna happen? As soon as I say, yeah, that was a lot of fun, then we're all gonna look up at that cloud way over there, okay? Yeah, that big cloud. Yep. Yep, I got another fish bite right now. It's awesome. We had a good day of fishing today, actually. Even though it started out really slow. He, remember when he went, um, um, kayak sledding? Yeah, we'll do it again. Okay, yeah. So Finn, as soon as I finish talking, we're supposed to look up at the cloud. Um, <laughs> Let's do it one more time. <laughs> yeah, but was that a funny? Yes. <laughs> Remember when we went ice fishing? That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs>